Welcome back to The Daily Threat. The cyber world has been buzzing with some serious incidents that should put every business owner on high alert. In this episode, we're diving into three major stories that reveal the increasing complexity of cyber attacks. The headlines may seem like just another day on the news, but make no mistake, these stories carry real risks for your business. Let's break them down. First, there's the breach at Dr. Webb, an antivirus company trusted by millions of users globally. It sounds almost unbelievable, doesn't it? The very company that's supposed to protect you from hackers falls victim to a hack themselves. This attack, claimed by pro-Ukrainian hacktivists, sends a strong message that no one is invincible, not even cybersecurity companies. But let's think about what this really means for your business. When you use antivirus software, you trust it with your most critical systems and data. If that trust is broken, where does that leave you? The hackers could potentially use this breach to find weaknesses in the systems Dr. Webb protects, gaining unauthorized access to sensitive information. It's like hiring a security guard for your building, only to find out that guard is secretly working with the burglars. If hackers can get in to an antivirus company, what's stopping them from getting into your business through that same compromised software? It's a chilling reminder that your cybersecurity strategy needs more than just a single layer of defense. Are you doing enough to monitor your systems beyond the basic tools? Next, let's look at how cyber criminals are taking advantage of natural disasters. As Hurricane Milton barrels towards Florida, both the Federal Trade Commission, OFTC, and the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, TSA, are warning businesses about hurricane-related scams. These scams capitalize on chaos and fear, targeting businesses when they're at their most vulnerable. Imagine trying to handle a natural disaster and finding out that your financial accounts have been drained because someone posed as a relief fund or government agency. It's like being robbed in broad daylight while you're distracted by a house fire. These scammers are clever. They mimic legitimate organizations so well that even the most cautious employee might fall for it. With the hurricane looming, companies will be dealing with disrupted communications and urgent decisions. That's exactly when hackers strike. Does your team know how to verify emails or messages before acting on them? Is your disaster recovery plan just about weather or does it cover the cyber risks that come along with it? You need to be prepared not just for the physical storm, but for the cyber storm that could follow. Now, the third story is a technical flaw that's sending ripples across industries using Siemens devices. Older models of Siemens machinery are susceptible to brute force attacks where hackers use automated systems to guess pins or passwords and gain unauthorized access to critical devices. We're talking about industrial machinery, things that control power plants, factories, and essential infrastructure. If that doesn't sound terrifying, think about it like this. It's as if someone could remotely break into your factory's control room and mess with the machinery from the other side of the world. The risk here isn't just downtime or inconvenience. It could mean a total shutdown of operations or worse, sabotage. Imagine the financial losses, the damage to your reputation and the potential danger if critical systems were taken over. If your business is relying on older technology, you could be sitting on a ticking time bomb. Uh, does your IT team regularly assess your hardware and software for vulnerabilities? Or are you trusting in outdated systems because they've always worked fine? Now is the time to act before the hackers find your weaknesses. Each of these stories highlights a growing trend. Cyber attacks are getting more sophisticated and they're targeting more than just the usual suspects. Businesses like yours, no matter the size, are in the crosshairs. These threats are evolving and they're not waiting for you to catch up. That's why staying informed is your first line of defense, but taking action is what will truly keep you safe. Uh, so what can you do? First, diversify your cybersecurity approach. Relying solely on antivirus software isn't enough. 
consider implementing advanced uh, monitoring systems and multiple layers of protection that can identify threats in real time. Educate your employees to spot scams, especially in high stress situations like during a natural disaster. And finally, update your legacy systems. The cost of maintaining old hardware might seem minor compared to the financial and reputational hit of a cyber attack, but believe me, it's worth the investment. We're not just sharing these stories to alarm you. The purpose is to get you thinking critically about your business's security. Are you doing enough to protect what you've built? Because hackers certainly aren't waiting around. That wraps up today's episode of The Daily Threat. If this gave you something to think about, and I hope it did, make sure to subscribe to our channel. We'll keep you updated with the latest cybersecurity news and tips to keep your business safe. Remember, this episode is brought to you by QIT Solutions, your trusted partner in all things cybersecurity. Let's stay one step ahead of the threats together. Stay vigilant, stay protected, and we'll see you next time on The Daily Threat.